Good afternoon, everyone. James from Junkyard Fox here, back at you with another video. Now, we find ourselves in beautiful Waco Tank State Park in Texas. A lot of rock formations, a lot of caves, very beautiful area. And we decided to just take a little break and make an EDC update video. Now, I don't make EDC videos very often because I'm extremely stubborn and I uh, very rarely change my stuff. Even though I do test out some stuff for the outdoor arena, most, the majority of my equipment remains constant. But there has been recent changes, so I just wanted to share those with you. So without further ado, thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's begin with the most basic form, a fundamental form of EDC, which is your clothing. Everybody carries clothing. Um, and I get a lot of questions on mine because it looks like I've been wearing the same clothes since I started this channel, which is true to a degree. See, I'm, I'm a, for the most part, I'm a function over fashion kind of guy. So if I find a shirt that I like, I'll buy about four of them, same color, same you know design, same everything, and just wear them until they're just, you know, years later just ripping on me. Um, not very fashionable, but it gets the job done. And what I like, as I was moving away from my teens, I was getting away from t-shirts and graphics, I like the work shirt, just a button-down long sleeve work shirt. I can remove my sleeves, raise them up or lower them lower them down depending on what I'm doing. Layers is the name of the game for me. So if it's windy outside, I can lower this down, kind of keep me warmer, protect me from there. Or if it's sunny, I don't want to get sunburned. If I'm relaxing like right now, I could just raise them up. Same thing goes with my jeans. I always wear jeans. Both of these are 100% cotton and I stick to earth tones. So blues, grays, greens, browns. And this was before I was even into the wilderness, I was doing this. And now that I'm into all this outdoor wilderness survival stuff, it really complements it very well. So layers is my thing. And like I say, I have several of the same looking shirts. So that's why it looks like I'm wearing the same clothes. One requirement that I do demand from my shirts is to have a front pocket. And that is for my second item here for my EDC. And that is my notebook and pen. I don't care if it's, you know, what model it is or what company, what brand, I don't care. As long as it's a pen that writes and it's a notebook that just, you know, helps me write ideas, keeps me, you know, motivated, keeps me organized. I write to-do lists and ideas for upcoming projects, you know, and I just, I just really like this. This is, in all honesty, this is my most used tool outside of my cell phone. So definitely re recommend everyone have a notebook and pad. There's just something about it that really helps you get ideas going. So notebook and pen and if necessary a source of fire I'll use the papers when it's difficult to get a fire going so dual purpose now on my chest right here you've seen this before around my neck under my shirt I have a leather sheath that holds my ferro rod and people ask me all the time you know what where did you get that ferro rod this is a self-reliance outfitters ferro rod so it's from the pathfinder school and I've had this for going on about two years. You can see all these little speed bumps. But it definitely works. It still has a lot of life left in it. And I hold this around my neck, under my shirt, because this is the last thing I want to lose if I was in a survival situation. I'd much rather lose my water container and my knife, but an easy form of making fire that can last me a long time, right here. That's the last thing I want to lose. Now, one thing that I have been getting a lot of questions these last couple of videos, these last couple months, is this pin on my shoulder. You know, what is it? And my geek friends caught on to it right away. Um, this is the symbol of Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a character from the old Star Wars movies, the bounty hunter. And I love this guy since I was a little kid to now, you know, uh, to this day, I still want to grow up to be Boba Fett. He's this was just a gift from my friend Mikey. He recently went to Disneyland and he brought this back to me as a souvenir. And I loved it so much, I decided to just EDC it. You know, when I, when my shirt is dirty and I, I'm gonna wear a new shirt, I just take off the pin, put it on the new one, and it's just part of my EDC. It doesn't serve any grand survival idea, anything like that. It's just, you know, part of my geek side showing itself. So, I like it, I really like it. Boba Fett, if you don't know who Boba Fett is, I'm worried for you, because he's awesome. Okay, so let's move on to the things I have in my pockets and my belt. I'm just gonna give a quick 360 and then from there I'm gonna place it on the ground so you guys can get a better view. So, really quickly, boring everyday grown-up stuff. Keys on my front belt loop. And on my front pocket, I have chapstick. Everyone uses chapstick and there are some uses for it. Survival-wise, I have a video on that. 
my back pocket, I have wallet. Everyone carries a wallet. And my other back pocket, a bandana, 100% cotton. So there's a lot of uses survival wise. There's a lot of uses just everyday wise. So, you know, something very handy to carry, very lightweight. Put it back here and you forget it's there. Okay, now for my belt, let's start right here. That is my EDC belt. So I'll elaborate a little more if you've not seen this yet. Then my hidden wooden belt pouch. And over here I have two knives. Now keep in mind I only carry one, which is this one. The LT Right GNS is my, my belt knife. However, I did bring this one on purpose to talk to you guys about it because I have been carrying it as well. Not at the same time, but I've been carrying them. So let's go ahead and put these things on the ground so you guys can get a better view. Okay, so I removed the items from my belt so it, so it wouldn't be such an awkward angle and you guys can get a better view. Let's go ahead and start with my EDC pouch. Now, if you've seen my past EDC videos, this is nothing new. However, the pouch itself is brand new because my old one, the Velcro just wasn't closing anymore and these loops on the side were just loose at this point. So I just bought this one last week. It's a Condor magazine pouch and it mainly holds my Victorinox one-handed trekker. I love this thing. I've been carrying this blade for about four years and I see no signs of stopping. Now I do have other multi-tools such as Leatherman. However, I do consider this one, at least in my opinion, just uh, I prefer it. I do consider it superior. Once again, in my opinion, don't kill me for that. Now, I don't have a review on this blade. However, I do have a review on the classic trekker, which is 95% the same, just the blade. It's just a little different, more old fashioned, but basically it's the same blade. So check out that review. I really love this blade. I love the tools. Just, this is the thing I carry on here. Now on the side loops over here, I have a Streamlight MicroStream flashlight. Nice and lightweight, uses AAA, one AAA battery. Now I've had this one for about three years. However, I do gotta admit, lately I have been noticing that it's just a little outdated compared to lights that I see nowadays. You know, people that are using other lights or YouTube reviews. This one does seem a little outdated, a little weak. So I am, I do like this light. However, I am thinking maybe it's time for me to go ahead and upgrade. So I'll leave that up to you guys. Go ahead and give me a comment. What do you guys think? Should I move on to another light? Do you guys have a good suggestion for a lightweight, thin flashlight that I can, I can go ahead and replace and add it right here? So you guys let me know. I don't know much about flashlights. Okay, now on the other loop right here, I have a ferro rod. Now this is a cheapy Coglins ferro rod, ferro rod from um, Dick Sporting Goods. So I think this is a good little combo for everyday carry. You have a multi-tool, a cutting tool with other tools along with it. You have a source of illumination and a source of fire. And it just stays nice and snug right there on my right side. Moving on from here. Now for the belt pouch, this is a new addition for me. Now this belt pouch is made by the Hidden Woodsman. That's my buddy Malcolm in New England. So this, this is a handmade, handcrafted piece of gear. Now check out his website, hiddenwoodsman.com. He makes haversacks and bags and all kinds of stuff. And I love this. This is an adjustable compression strap, holds a lot of stuff. Now back here, there's two loops here for your belt. So it's very sturdy. Now today I am holding my cell phone which is an iPhone 5C. Now we're climbing rocks and stuff, so I don't wanna be holding it or I don't wanna risk damaging it. So it's back here, it's safe. And I do believe I have a battery in case my flashlight, my microstream runs out. So whenever it runs out of juice, I just have a replacement ready. Now normally I like to take these empty because when I'm off in the wilderness, I like to fill them up with some tinder or some edibles. However, if you want, I mean, you can put whatever you want in there, a mission, a, a mini fishing kit. You can place uh, a flint and steel kit, rat traps, whatever you wish. And once again, these are handmade. So this is a work of art in my opinion. I'm actually, I actually have about three of these at this point, different colors, different patterns, depends on how I'm feeling and I love this stuff. So be prepared to see this from now on. Love it. And by the way, it does look like something Boba Fett would be carrying on him. So you never know, maybe he shops at thehiddenwoodsman.com. You never know, good stuff. And now for my belt knife. Now, if you've seen this plenty of times in my past videos, 
This is the LT Wright GNS knife, and I consider this the perfect belt knife. My Carta Scales Coke bottle handle shape, okay, spear point design with an 01 tool steel, so it's a very high carbon saber grind. I've done everything from skinning game to opening boxes. I love this thing. Once again, it's going in about two years. And in those two years, you know, I've been doing a lot of reviews for the outdoor arena, including other LT rights. However, I still got to say I do prefer this one. It does come with a leather sheath. It comes with a dangler, though. I will admit I don't like danglers, so I just removed it. it carries on my hip every day. I live in Texas, so I have no issues with them, you know, telling me something, the police telling me something. So this is my belt knife. And I do promise I will make a review on this. I've just been really busy, so I keep putting it off. But know that I do consider it the perfect belt knife. The LT Wright GNS Saber Grind. Now for my secondary belt knife. Like I said, I don't carry these at the same time. I just brought this one on purpose, just for the sake of this video. Now this is the Mora Garberg knife. So this is their newest edition. This is the full tank version. And I, to be honest, I don't care about Amora being full tank. Amoras are great the way they are. However, I did like it because it was very different from my usual belt knife and I needed some something different recently. Now, if you saw my last video for the One Tigress waterproof capsule, you know, I jumped in the water, you know, all my clothes, everything, and you know, I was in, in the water for an extended period of time. Now, this blade, I love it, but the O1 tool still is high carbon and it's very susceptible to moisture. Same thing goes for its sheath, which is leather. So I wanted something different, and this Mora is, it's a high stainless steel. I'll get, I'll write to annotate the exact steel below. And it has plastic handles, and even the sheath itself is plastic with large drain holes. So I was wearing this while I was in the water, and I really didn't have to worry about any corrosion, any rust, any problems. So that's why I've been using it. Now I'm gonna give it a couple of months, before I actually make a review on it. I just want you guys to know right now, I am liking it. I really like the handle. I really like the design of it. Not too different from what you've had before, but it is a welcome addition. So like I said, this is my main belt knife, and this one has been used, you know, recently I've been using this one as well. Now for the last part of my EDC, guys, which is my boots. Now I do always carry cowboy boots. Now, I've had these for several years. You've seen them before. I have my spurs on them, and this one has a backup knife. Now, normally, for the last couple years, I've had the Mora Classic Number 1, but recently, I had my Mora Companion fixed. Now, this is my first uh, bushcraft knife, and I messed it up last year. I messed up the bevel, and my buddy, Cody Roberts, fixed it up for me from Abyssal Wolf Forge. He also makes his own knife, so we're going to be testing those out pretty soon. Thanks, Cody. I really appreciate that. And I do have a leather sheath on here. Not the original sheath that the knife comes in, but just the leather sheath that's attached to my boot. So I have a backup cutting tool here, a backup fixed blade. And over here, of course, my other boot. Now, I didn't elaborate on my boots a lot. Now, I, I live in the desert, so it's a spiny country. There's a lot of thorns and spines, stickers, animals like scorpions that have stingers. So I like something with leather, thick leather, pretty high to keep the sand out, and this protects me for the most part. So that's why I like to carry cowboy boots. This one is damaged. I don't know if you can see that big hole right here. Now, I fix these up once a year. I take them to get repaired. I already fixed them this year, and they're already messed up again, so I might have to get some new boots. So we'll see about that. Now over here on this loop, normally this is where I have a lighter attached to with velcro uh, you guys kind of caught me on a rare time where every six to seven months i replaced that lighter and the velcro and put a brand new one however i took it out and i lost the velcro i can't find it the strip of velcro at my house so i gotta go buy some and then i have an, an emergency source of flame right here so on my boots i have an emergency cutting tool and an emergency source of fire for the most part once again i slacked it today well, that's about the long and short of it, guys. If you've seen my past EDC videos, you'll notice that not much has changed. Some things are gone and some things have been added. However, for the most part, I do remain constant. I am extremely stubborn. Now, other than that, guys, just let me know ahead of time. Uh, let me know in the comments below 
what should I change? Am I carrying too much stuff? Should I, would you recommend something else, another item? For example, my flashlight, I am thinking of replacing it. So let me know on that. Now, other than that, guys, we are gonna explore this area a little further. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to keep up with my adventures. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.